Does jazz help us dream? Does science help us dream? Anyone who knows me well knows I love music. I began playing the piano at a young age, and then over time I was exposed to a wide variety of music, like Herb Alpert on the turntable, one of my dad's favorites. My taste in music ranged from the symphony to music festivals, and even to hearing up-and-coming groups at local venues. But now, after recently attending a week-long conference on jazz, I'm inspired, and I've begun assembling the pieces of my life in new and different ways. Let me be clear. While I certainly enjoy many forms of music, I'm not a professional musician. No, I'm a scientist. I'm the dean of the College of Science at Louisiana State University. In my own way, through my profession, I'm making music. It's what I do every day through the art that we call science. And what I've come to realize is that the creative process in music and in science is a contagious energy, like a chain reaction. Have you ever thought about the similarities between the process of scientific investigation and the making of jazz? Science is developed as jazz is performed. There are three elements we typically associate with the music we know as jazz. The blues, swing, and improvisation. Taken in, the, that, taken in the same light, we can think of science as a burning problem. The experimental design and the creative process and inquiry. First, the blues. For music, this is digging deep into your soul to explore those hard, sometimes dark, but always very meaningful parts of life. It's about addressing a problem, a burning question that no one in the world has yet been able to solve. Next, swing. For jazz, this is the rhythm. It's loose and combines traditional elements in unusual ways. It gives individual musicians room to explore and express themselves. Swinging builds up tension and anticipation. You know, I think for science, it's also about finding a tempo. It's about finding the right instruments to, the, to address the problem. The drums, the cymbals, the bass, that tap out a steady pace toward progress. A rhythm that leads to a climax with each step toward a solution. And then there's improvisation. Jazz musicians respect each other. They listen to each other and they expect the unexpected. They know that each time they get together, at least one of them's gonna take off on a solo in new and different directions. Total creativity. Scientific collaborations are like that. Folks in a scientific team learn from each other. They pay attention to the details and take cues from each other. They're free to 
push the boundaries, challenge ideas, try something new. In fact, they're expected to do so. That's what we have to do to address the difficult problems that face us in science today. So you see, science is much like the creative process in jazz. Learning as we go, putting in years of practice, and honing our skills in just the right way. Jazz is collaborative, and jazz is in sync. The same is true for science. Many people think of these endeavors as really hard. They're my ultimate experiences. Overcoming the challenges in jazz and in science lead to great personal fulfillment. But more importantly, they add value to our society, the music of the whole. I want to share with you my dreams. I'm a biochemist. In my research, I'm searching for the molecular keys that lock and unlock blood flow. These are nanomachines that we call proteins, and they respond to injury by first forming and then breaking down blood clots. My burning question, or the blues that keep me awake at night, is trying to understand how a complex network of interactions among many of these proteins leads to normal wound healing, whereas only small perturbations lead to diseases. I want to know how these nanomachines work. What's their three-dimensional structure? How do they recognize tissues or blood clots? How do they change their size and shape depending on the circumstances? In this work, I've collaborated with scientists from all over the world each who have brought their own unique insights and expertise. We formed our own jazz ensemble in a way. And I, I've learned to adjust to the swing in my work that comes from finding the right instruments for the experiments and the right people to work on or play those instruments. And that's where improvisation comes in. In that creative process. My current focus, my latest solo, if you will, is on protein dynamics. That is, the three-dimensional structures of those nanomachines are not static. They actually change. I'm using sensitive devices to measure those changes at the nanoscale, far below what we can see with our eyes. My goal is to link protein dynamics with drug design. This body of work that's emerged over the years addresses important questions for human health. It's my music, my jazz. There's a complexity that emerges in a jazz performance over time. A jazz combo is not about the individuals, but it's about the music made by the group. Each individual musician knows their role and relies on others to do their part. You know, science works that way too. Both the jazz ensemble and the scientific team have to work together. Jazz and science are experienced in real time with rules, but the ability to explore with a deep level of trust among the individuals in the group, adaptable in the moment, and knowing the importance of being able to lead and to follow. The secret to good science is many voices asking many questions. Time has shown that great ideas can emerge at any given moment, and those are the ones that take hold and lead to new discoveries, new music, and change the world forever. Rather than fearing the unknown, the complex, 
I hope we can get more people to pursue science and perform jazz. I want to get back to the questions I posed earlier. Does jazz help us dream? Does science help us dream? Absolutely. Jazz opens us up and science can too. These are both creative fields, forever malleable and fluid. I don't turn off my jazz. I let it inspire and energize me as a music enthusiast and as a biochemist, recognizing that these are both critical elements in that broad spectrum that we call the liberal arts that make us vibrant and whole. So I find the blues, swing, and improvisation in jazz and in science to be really important, really beautiful, and really a blast. I'm gonna continue making my music, and I'm gonna continue dreaming 